Today, Kevin and I are going to be reviewing the Pensy's Pie Spice, and you can use this in uh, pies if you want. However, uh, the directions also say that it can be used in pancakes. So I wanted to show you a close-up of how it looked, and we are making our pancakes from the original Bisquick pancake baking mix. So I want to thank Michael in Wisconsin for sending us this. I really appreciate it. I'll talk about it more once we get our pancakes on the table. So we have our pancakes and normally we'd, we would make them a bigger and, uh, but for the purposes of this video, we just easy make, to make them small. Yeah, it's easy to make them small uh, for this video. Uh, so it says uh, the ingredients are cinnamon, vanilla sugar, which is sugar and vanilla bean, uh, mace, ginger, nutmeg, anise seed, and clove. And it says uh, the serving size is a fourth of a teaspoon, and it's, it says zero calories for a fourth of a teaspoon. Um, we, uh, we, we made one batch using half a teaspoon, half, half a teaspoon, and we, we took off a little pinch and we tried it, and it wasn't, uh, we didn't feel like it was enough. Yeah, you could taste it, but it wasn't strong enough. Right, so with, this, with the spices, with seasonings, you wanna play with them a little bit. So we made another batch, and we put a whole teaspoon in there. Uh, so we have not tried it with a so whole one, teaspoon. So one yet. cup to one teaspoon. One cup of Bisquick to one, yeah, or yeah. one cup of whatever you, pancake batter. batter. Yeah. To, so we're gonna try it without um, any syrup first so we can really taste it. And then we'll try it with some syrup. You ever get the spice flavor? Yes, that is, it, yes. Although you get a lot of pancake flavor too. <laughs> but you also really taste that flavor, the, mm -hmm. the spices. Yes, I, I, I like the flavor of that. Mm -hmm. I yeah. actually think that would be good with just the pancake and butter. Yeah. And no syrup. Because I really like the uh, that flavor of, I'm mainly tasting cinnamon. Yeah, um, yeah I can see that. It reminds you of a pumpkin pie is what it kind of reminds you of, that spice you get in a pumpkin pie. Right. I like your uh, pancakes, by the way. Mm -hmm. They're very thick and fluffy. Did a good job. Bisquick does some good pancakes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Bisquick is a very good brand. It's super easy. Mm -hmm. It's good with. I yeah. like that a lot. It's good with. Um, and that was easy. I mean, that was so easy because you're, if you're already making pancakes anyway, or you could mm -hmm. use the same thing if you have a waffle maker. You, you, it's the same thing. Um, but if you're already making pancakes anyway, literally all he did was was uh, pour this in there and yeah. stir it. That's that's it. Yeah. I like that quite a bit. Yeah, I like uh, the addition of that spice. It's nice. But I'm mainly getting uh, the cinnamon. I agree. Yeah, the cinnamon is the strongest flavor. I don't know that I'm tasting uh, clove or ginger, but if it wasn't in there, you would probably you know miss it. it. Yeah. Thank that you very good. much. Uh, yeah, like I said, you can use this in pies or other desserts. You could probably sprinkle it over ice cream if you wanted to. Yeah. Um, it just depends on how you want to use it. But for, for us, for review purposes, this was the, the quickest, easiest way for us to use it. And it said on their website mm -hmm. to use it this yep. way as well. Um, so I will leave a link to their website below. And thanks for watching.